Hello, welcome to this video. The goal of this video is to do this piercing free cut step by step. We will draw this piece using these dimensions. So let's create this piercing free cut. Click this icon to create new file change to part design workbench and now I click the body click new sketch in xy plane now pick the pole line tool and draw the sketch press and three times to get this up and now select this arc in this line make it tangent go to fillet tool and fillet this part and this part and this part so now go to the cycle tool and draw this cycle Select all cycles and make it equal. And now constrain this point to the region, make it constant. Okay. And now select this arc, this, and this, and this, and make it equal. So the diameter of the circles will be 20. As you can see, the diameter is 20. Okay. So the radius of these of these arcs is 20, and the radius of this arc is is 20. Now select these two. The distance between these two cycles is 90. And this cycle to this cycle is 100. And the vertical distance between this cycle to this, to this arc is 102. Okay. And the distance between this point to this point is 40. As you can see, <coughs> the distance between this circle to this circle is 40. We we'll have 90, we have 100, and here we have 102. And the part of this PSU is this time. So leave the sketch, press home, and now go to A2. Okay, press OK. And now select this face, click new sketch. What we have to do here is to extract these cycles. And now go to cycle command. these cycles so after that select all cycles and make it equal and give it a diameter of 28 okay close the sketch and now go to pocket command change the length to 2.5 okay select this face again and create the sketch and now pick this tool to extract this edge. Go to cycle command and draw this cycle. Close the sketch. Go to pad tool. 
in the peg of these parties instead. Press OK. And now select this face. Quick new sketch. Extract this edge here. And now go to polyline tool and do this sketch. Okay. The distance between these two points is 10. So pick these two and create a point here. And now select this point and this line and make it motion. Okay. So the distance between this point to this point is 21. Okay. Then the horizontal distance between this point to this point is 4. Okay. And now that this line press close and now what we have to do is to change the placement of this sketch so bring click on mouse and go to attachment editor and here go to z duration change it to minus print and click ok so now go to that command the length will be 10 Check these options, metric to plane. As you can see, we have a peg of 10 and heat of 21. Okay. So press OK. And now what I have to do is to select this face, create new sketch, and extract this edge. Go to cycle command and go this circle and give this circle a diameter of 2 press close and go to pocket comma change the link to ok say that the type is regular and press ok and you have this pocket press on so now create new sketch in XZ plane and use the pole line tool to do this sketch okay so now let's give dimensions to this sketch pick this tool and the length of this line is 4 this line have a length of 8 and the distance between these two points is this length. Okay. Switch to session view and say that the distance between this point to the origin is 10. Okay. And now, and now the height of this sketch is full okay press home on your keyboard to make this view pick this tool and extract this this line okay and pick this tool again and say that the distance between these two points is 20 Close the sketch and the next step is to edit the placement of this sketch. Okay, bring click on mouse, go to attachment editor, go to Z duration, set it to 20. Okay, and now go to add tool 10. Yeah, 
Let's prepare this term. So press OK. Then now select this face and create a new sketch. And here extract this line and go to rounded rectangle tool and draw this rectangle. And now let's give dimension to this arc. The dimension of this arc is 10, the range is 10. Okay. And we have these dimensions here, 70 foot. Pick this tool and set the, the distance between these two points is 70. And the 80 is foot. Okay, so drag the sketch. The distance between this point to this point is 15 and the vertical distance is 15 too. Okay. Close the sketch. Go to pad command. Pad this this turn. So press OK. And now select this face and create the sketch. Switch to section view. Pick this tool and extract this line and this line. Okay, so now go to the rectangle tool and draw the this rectangle. And now let's give dimension to this sketch. Select this tool. And the length of this line is 10. Extra the, the length of this of this edge. And you see that is foot. So again go to this tool and say that the distance between this point to this point is 15. Okay, so close the sketch. And go to pad command. The pad of this sketch is 25 as you can see. Change the length to 25. Press OK. And now select this face and create new sketch. Switch to section view. Select this tool to extract edge. So select this edge this edge and go to all line command and do this sketch okay close the sketch and now go to pocket command change here to 10 press ok so what is missing now is to do the fillets So select this edge, go to fillet 2. Okay, nothing is happening. Select this edge, go to fillet 2. And you can see that we have a fillet. Okay. So now go to the draw style and change it to wireframe. Click this option, 8. And now select all edges that we want to fill it. This edge. Select all edges that you want.
now press 8 and switch to flat lines so as you can see we have the fillet press it again select this edge and this edge press it and as you see that we have the fillet Okay, so now press it again and select this edge and here we get the fill too and now press it again and select this edge okay nothing is happening so remove this edge and press ok Okay, we have to fill it this edge. So select this edge. Go to fill it too. I don't know what is the problem with this edge. So what can I say is that we. What can I say is that we finalize the design of this part. Thank you to watching this video. If you find a way to fill at this age, please comment this video. So, okay.